the normies. We're back to watch more BoJack Horseman season Woo! one, episode eight, the telescope. What? The, the, the telescope. The telescope. Do you guys remember what happened last episode? Um. So yeah, he, BoJack being a dickhead and Diane just ended surprisingly with him. Yeah. Um. He was he was gone while Princess Caroline was having her little adventure. Correct. Adventure. Her I mean, little, she. I mean, Bojack and fiasco. Caroline were doing yeah. something together, but he trying to be a Never dickhead. Adventures. All right. So, so yeah, so yeah. Uh, it's so far. It's cool. See. I mean, they try to relate to real life problems. I can tell. Mm-hmm. It's just like it's just animals in the real world. It's just, yeah. It's just weird. Yeah, really Stop horsing around. Let's do this. All right, we're horsing around too much, y'all. Let's watch the telescope. Uh, Did you read I, get the I get it. I get it. I get it. Did you read the description? <laughs> Guys, it's so fucking taking too long. You made me read something now. I love it. So I'm getting bored. Fuck around. Make you read. Oh yeah, the armadillos. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It's like a roly poly. I like the Congratulations here. on the whole being engaged yeah. thing, by the way. Thanks. It's just starting to hit me. I'm getting married. <laughs> Thank God I don't have to die alone. No offense. None taken. Till you said no offense. <laughs> <laughs> the story of power, betrayal, and ambitious hairstyles. The year 1984. Movie's over. Watch the next one. Oh, I'm tired of watching movies. Okay, I'm glad Todd's there too. Skip? Yeah. Skip? No. 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 Absolutely not. I love the background. Hey, look, they took the D off. Hollywood. Listen to it when it comes to it. It's just like there's a rhythm to it. It's when there's ass and boobies, basically. Yeah, like. No, no, no. It's, it's the trumpet. Listen. It's the pool part. Oh. Listen, 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 listen. Yeah, this part, right? right no, here. after this, wait. Yeah. <laughs> really specific. You, what the hell? part of the thing? <laughs> it's just, I don't know. That, that part just makes me like, yeah. I like the <laughs> ending. Oh, we're in the 80s. This is a song from the 80s. This is a song. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the 80s are almost 40 years ago. Looks like oh, Herb's yeah, yeah. killing. Yeah, and the suits from ABC are here. <laughs> Angela Diaz. She's the woman who made pantsuits a thing. Did the guys from ABC call? Uh-huh. I'm going to pitch them a TV show while they're drunk. An off-the-clock, non-work-related social event? That's the perfect time to pitch a TV show. You're brilliant. And that's Angela Diaz. And that's Ubu, the guy who sits. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. You're gonna be a big success. Herb says it to me all the time. He thinks the world of you. He does? Yeah, I'm not worried about if you'll become a star. I'm more worried about how you'll change when it happens. Oh, shit. Bojack, I'm moving to Maine. Whoa, whoa, what? whoa, really? Does Herb know? Yeah. Mm. I'm going to miss you, Charlotte. Do you ever wonder what would have happened if you'd met me before Herb did? Would you have made a move on me? Charlotte. I don't think you would have. You know why? I think you're a coward. This is what makes him a dick. Why did you bring me to Griffith Park? Are we gonna get in a knife fight like in Rebel Without a Cause? I hate that title. He had several causes. <laughs> I got a call from ABC today. They bought my TV pitch. What? That's amazing. What's the show? It's called Horsin' Around. Uh, well, awesome. good luck on your rocket ship to the top without me. No, Bojack, the show's about a horse. Then that right. horse is gonna be BJ Goddamn Horseman. Oh my God. And they said no. Oh. And I said, please. And they said, okay. <laughs> Seriously? Uh, uh, of course I do. Of course, Herb. Jesus Christ, thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh. I think you got the wrong idea here. Yeah, no, man. Whoa. Herb, I'm not. Me either. No, I just, you know, I got caught up in the moment. Yeah, I, no, I, 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 I got you. BJ, can you believe it? We're going to make an actual TV show. Let's get rich. Yeah. <laughs> A generic 90s grunge song. Cool. <laughs> a generic well, 90s grunge song. All his clothes like apples, I swear. <laughs> Goat full dead. <laughs> Every one of your ideas is stupid or racist. That was one pitch, and I didn't say they're all thieves, but if you're too scared to start a national dialogue, maybe I'll take my ideas home. Good luck making horsing around without the horse. And Bojack Han. That audience out there traveled from all over the country just to taste some of your magic. Do you really want to disappoint them? <sighs> okay, Sharona. I'll go out there and jerk this limp script until it gets home. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what it'd be like to be in like a live studio audience for the filming of like a sitcom. That'd be fun. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute, this isn't the bar. 
I gotta fire my assistant. Oh, gross. Why do I keep trying to like Zima? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happened to Zima? He's back. Oh, what, really? Of course it is. Look how huge the phone is. <laughs> what? Oh my god. She had big hair. Cats look like Dances with wolves. And they have real wolves that are dancing. Dances with wolves. <laughs> awesome. Secretariat, it's happening. Ooh. And it's down to you and Val Kilmer for the title role. That's amazing. Val Kilmer. 80 star. Scandal breaking today surrounding the family sitcom Horsin' Around. <laughs> oh, before he came that Anchorman. <laughs> He's on Axis Hollywood. Yeah. I didn't realize it was the same guy. It's like all their starts. Lewd acts with another man. Uh, Conservative that, groups have been quick to organize. Horsin' yeah. Around is a show for kids. My family should be able to watch those nubile preteens without men like Perv Kazaz flaunting their alternative lifestyles and with, ruining uh, America. Uh, she yeah. And a keg. I gotta tell you, I'm gay. No doy. But you know me, right? You know that I'm a good guy. And yeah. if I get kicked off this, I won't recover. If you threaten to walk, they'll listen to you. Herb, you picked the worst possible time to- Hey, you know I wouldn't ask if I didn't need it. Come on, Bojack. How'd we get so far apart, huh? <laughs> you know what? You can count on me, Herb. I mean, I, I wouldn't even be here if it weren't for you. I knew it! I knew you'd Bojack's come Bojack's gonna fuck him, because he's a piece of shit. <laughs> well, just when he becomes bad, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to waste your time with small talk because you work for me and your time is my time. We're letting Herb go. You I can't, can't do, do that. that. I'm not asking you. Oh, wow. It's nothing personal. Well, if, if he goes, goes you I go. Do. I wouldn't do that. Bojack, <laughs> I think you're a star. And sometimes being a star <laughs> means making tough choices. Damn. You could storm out, make a big show out of what a good friend you are, or you could be the guy who does his job. Angela. I'll tell you when it's your turn to talk again. Look, you can choose whatever path you want. But I'll tell you right now, you don't win awards, and you don't get to be on the covers of magazines, and you don't get to play the lead role in the Secretariat movie by being a good friend. <laughs> so what do you think, Bojack? That's a courtesy question. I already know what you think, because I have conversations like this one five times a day. And I know you've already made your decision, but if you want to surprise me, now's the time to do it. That's what I thought. Damn. You're doing the right thing. I know it's hard, but if Herb's really your friend, he'll understand. Even say shit. So it wasn't that clear cut, but I mean, it is his decision, but she really laid it on thick right there. Mm -hmm. I mean, he tried, though. <sighs> Wait a minute. This isn't the bar. I gotta fire my assistant. So what ended up happening with Secretariat? But they never made the movie. Whoa. This house forgetting he's is way perfect. bigger than yours. Herb's done really well for a guy you dicked over. Oh, no. That's enough out of you. Stay out here and turn this car around in case we need to leave in a hurry. Hey, Bojack? <laughs> Shit. Bojack! Wow! Oh, Jesus, you look shitty. Have you been eating your guilt this whole time? <laughs> <laughs> you don't look so hot yourself, Herb. I have cancer. <laughs> Please, come in. You're letting out all the cancer. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, Jack. How are your utensils? Sure. Because if that knife ain't sharp enough, I got another that you left in my back 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's mean as shit, man. Drive, drive, drive. Where? Oh, it was like a, a spring breaker. Spring breakers. <laughs> I believe it. Go any faster. Oh, I'm going as fast as I can. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a great job. Kenzie, stop talking to him. Remember the number one rule of the Celebrity Stealing Club. No falling in love. <laughs> That's your rule for every club. It's a good rule. Whoa, maybe we should take our masks off and actually talk. You want me to take my mask off? Fine. Happy? I took my mask off. Did you? Because I think you're still... <laughs> Fucking Todd. <laughs> Wait, is that Charlotte? Yeah, yeah, we kept in touch. You should actually give her a call. I'm sure she'd love to hear from you. She looks good for someone so old. She's three years younger than you. Exactly. <laughs> well, guys. <laughs> 
And it was actually nice to see you, Bojack. You could see yourselves out. <laughs> Juice controls the media. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess in a sense, I'm running away from the cops. <laughs> but I feel like in another, truer sense, I'm running away from myself. Todd is shit. He likes the one character I like the most. <laughs> I love Todd. He just does anything. I don't like Bojack. You know, I act all cool and sophisticated on the outside, but on the inside, I'm just Todd, you know? But thanks to you guys, I think I'm finally ready to let my guard down. Do you hear that? He's letting his guard down. Let's get him! <laughs> oh my god, what, what? bitches! <laughs> man, man, my man Todd did not need to have that shit happen to him. He doesn't even have that much money. If you have something you need to say to someone, you should do it while you have the chance. Because before you know it, it'll be too late. Is this one of those things where we're talking about Herb, but we're actually talking about something else? <laughs> no, I was talking about Herb. Okay, good. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh. Back to that yeah. <laughs> Ooh, just get that looked at. Yeah, I've been meaning to see a doctor. <laughs> hey, I wanted to talk to you about... I feel bad about what happened. So, you're apologizing? Yes. I'm sorry. Okay. I don't forgive you. Herb, I said I'm sorry. Yeah. And I do not forgive you. Uh, not sure you get what's happening here. <laughs> this could be the last time that no. you... No. I'm not gonna give you closure. You Damn. don't get that. You have to know that it's never, ever going to be okay. I'm not gonna feel better. And I'm not gonna be your prop so you can feel better. <laughs> you have to believe me. Yeah, I did everything I could. Shit. Yeah? Then why didn't you call me? But huh? Look, I, I I wanted to, but I didn't think... You know what it was like for me? <sighs> I had no money. It's ever. not my fault you got fired. I don't care about the job! I did fine. I had a good life. But what I needed then was a friend. And you abandoned me. And I will never forgive you for that. Now get the fuck out of my house. Jeez. Man, Herb. Yeah. Hey, this is a dumb cold. question, but the gay thing and the rectal cancer thing aren't related. <laughs> the rectal oh cancer? Aww. Put that back, asshole! No, you gave this to me. No. Oh what are you doing? Get off him! The show was never the same after I left. Admit it! Some people prefer the later years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jack. <laughs> I know you better than anyone, and I can tell you that you're not. In fact, yeah, you'd not. probably sleep a lot better at night if you just admitted to yourself that you're a selfish goddamn coward. That's you. That's Bojack Horseman. I don't know why I came here. Yeah, you do. Damn. You want to do that? Todd! <laughs> oh my god, he's not Todd! This is knocked out on the wash. I won't put what happened today in the book if you don't want me to. Nah, it's okay. Full truth. Well, for what it's worth, I think it took a lot of guts to do what you did back there. <gasps> he's, why did he keep fucking up, man? I took the wrong, like, just the situation and everything. <sighs> Bojack's going through some shit. <laughs> Damn, I didn't think, like, Herb would affect Bojack that much. Yeah, that, would, that was the first decision of him going, like, turning back on somebody and, like, fucking somebody over. Yeah. That was then. But I didn't think, like, Herb, you know, not giving conclusion or whatever, closure would like affect him like that. He really upset him. I thought he wouldn't give a shit. He's Bojack Horseman. Yeah, oh, he always wants things to happen his way. Like, oh, I'll go over there and say I'm sorry, and then he'll forgive me, and then I'll feel better. Yeah. But, like, I mean, he did all that. And I feel like everybody it. has a moment in their lives where like th that moment, it it, it, it it makes you who you are like later on in life. And I think that is what caused him to be the way he is. Like, yeah. I feel like his assholeness came from that one moment, you know? Yeah. Like, if it wasn't for that happening, I don't think he would be the way he is Oh, definitely. He was because already letting. Yeah, him. we saw. We saw like when they were in the dress rehearsal. But I feel like that was like he was already letting it get to his yeah, head a little. Yeah, bit. but I feel like that was like that was the straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because like 
her was there and trying to like bring him down bring him back down to earth yeah because he did try with the producer or whatever and then she was just like I know your answer like don't and I don't and I don't blame him his his, uh, herb for any any the way he treated Bojack at the end no you think about it man like you know you guys came up together and there was a situation where like it was you know I have to go and you can stay or whatever he he made that path but even at that, he still didn't even say hey to him or wasn't there for him for any of that shit. Yeah, like, like it's that's the job. shit that probably yeah. hurts the most. Man. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. That shit. He's just is going back to clear his own conscience. Mm-hmm. That's really it. Because, yeah. like, first time when I was like, no, I'm not going to forgive you, I was like, it's so simple. Like, it was just about a job. But when he was like, Bojack, you didn't even call me, that's when it's like, okay, that's too much. Like, yeah, he, it's a logical answer. He would have understood yeah, it, but yeah. you should have at least called your friend, be there to support him. That just Bojack. He's a piece of shit. I like yeah. that they didn't really explain in words why he visited, and the, but like Herb was like, you know why you came here, and like yeah. kind of left it up to us to he like, decide what, what yeah what yeah. Bojack needed because he's he's like selfish and kind of wants these things mm-hmm. for his own gain. And I see like he didn't take Diane just because like he like 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 that. It was really for memoir and whatever, right? Yeah. And a support. I think he support. wanted emotional yeah. support as well. Like just didn't want to tackle it alone. But yeah, that kiss came out of nowhere. And yeah. Spring like, Breakers, basically. Oh, like, yeah. Was... <laughs> Spring Breakers and Todd. Fucking Todd. How much, like, bad shit do keep having to him? He yeah, in jail. I forgot how much shenanigans he gets into. In the... He interacts with Bojack it. a little bit more in later storylines. But, yeah, this one, he's kind of getting his shenanigans out of the way. Bojack is such a hateful character. Like, they put somebody likable next to him. So, we're like, all right, so you yeah, tolerable kind of now. Yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, because if Todd wasn't there, Bojack would be so hard to swallow, like, this kind of a sad seeing the you know like the flashback at the beginning they're all like we're gonna take this town mm-hmm. and uh they came up in like a comedy club together and stuff and yeah. when when success did hit both of them they, yeah like one person you're out one person essentially stabbed the other in the back but. i mean he still had a success you know what i mean he still yeah. lived his life he's you know he's like you said he yeah gave a town in sub-saharan africa a bunch of water yeah mm-hmm. That was his show. He wrote Horsin' Around. Yeah. He's getting fired from your own company. And some people prefer yeah. the later years. <laughs> <laughs> but still, I mean, it was a famous show at that time, so he would have gotten a job, like, somewhere else. Like, yeah. who wouldn't want, like, a talented writer or producer or whatever he was, but... Yeah. He, still, he still had his life, man. He had money. He's, he was good. It's just that I think what, what, what hurt him the most was losing his friend and losing yeah. everything that, like... That reminded him of, of a time before him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like he literally pitched the idea with Bojack in mind, so like yeah. he literally started his career. I mean, that's good, man. That's good. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to realize this is this is not a cartoon. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, absolutely not. It is a cartoon, though. It is a cartoon. I'll see. I realize this is more than a cartoon. What do you think about Bojack being a horse? Like, why is it? Why like, a horse? We, we and like, why about in that this too, universe but... itself? Like, it's such a weird universe. Like, the first time I watched it, I was like, who came up with this first idea? Like, did they got really high? I think, and I then think, it's like, we should have universe I, with I animals like that come and act that. like humans. Maybe they have some bestiality problems, you know, the creators. I, I just think they want to highlight certain emotions, like in traits that those animals carry into. I know, like, man. Quite yeah. intentionally. Yeah. Like, you can have to be like a really glorious be horse and be like a drunk, lazy horse, I guess. I don't know what it's trying to say. Animals but. in real life, if they had, like, normal human problems, what would their... <gasps> How they deal with it? It's like, I love I love uh, peanut butter. No, I don't think so. No, <laughs> you gotta go to Chef Boy's. And then trap. Princess Caroline in the eighties, girl, she rocked that. Oh shit. yeah, the hair. Oh my god, it was awesome. <laughs> no, this is nineties grunge song. It's like I saw it in the eighties. <laughs> this is great. It was my final. Of how it makes fun of like the flashback type things that people do in shows. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm excited for more of the show, man. Yeah, I'm glad you guys it's different. I, it's, I can't it's wait different. for more it's seasons different. and different storylines. I still think you'll you'll be grabbed like in the later. Yeah, it's sort of like a introspective show. You have to kind of get into the mind of the characters, like all each of them, not just Bojack, to get mm-hmm. more fleshed out. So. I think Rick and Morty took like a few episodes to get into like fully getting into it because yeah. it's it's a different mindset to kind of get used to it because it is kind of dark and I kind of like Rick and Morty right off the bat though yeah. oh, oh yeah, yeah. Rick and Morty was easy pilot like, wasn't that good. Hey, I, mean, I was a big fan of the pilot yeah but alright guys well, we're right, gonna go eat lunch yeah Peace. thanks for watching see you guys later bye bye, bye. 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 Thanks for joining us for another BoJack. Shout out to our super patrons, Luis, Joe, Abel, Keyboard Junkie, Toy Soldier, and Cool Cat. Be sure to check out our Patreon for uncut and early access content. Make sure to read the video description for important links. Stay tuned for more BoJack, and we'll see you next time.